Now, what that says, Andrew Bryan, it says that's clever. Oh, someone's going to look at that and say, a young person perhaps, I get it, that's a clever advert. Therefore, smoking equals clever. That's what it's saying, isn't it? Yeah. Not at all, I don't but think. It's... I think that's a complete, complete fiction. I mean, it is a picture of silk-cut ribbons coming through a cheese grater. <coughs> Why so don't what? they advertise the 800 Georgina. side effects of cigarettes while they're advertising their cigarettes? Put it alongside in big letters. Yeah. Cancer, what? 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 cancer, what? Cancer. What? 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 cancer, what? heart disease, Civician dog, researched it, Civician dog, researched it, they're over 40 years. Right, 51 years I've been smoking. Heart disease, me. You're lucky, the more you smoke, the more your chances are of getting a disease. There's 800 side effects. Georgina, 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 you used to smoke, and what happened to you? I got lung cancer, and it was right on the vocal cords. My career was gone, I was a singer. And I've packed eight, or, oh, eight years previous to being diagnosed with it. There's emphysema, heart failure. You go through a ward of emphysema uh, sufferers, love, well, and you'll you never smoke this? again. Georgina, did Georgina, did it not occur to you that you were uh, inhaling uh, chemicals? It didn't. It into didn't. Your oh, body? no, I thought it was romantic. Did you not think it was bad no, for you? Look, I've got Davis and Paul Hayes in now Voyager. He lights two cigarettes and gives them. Oh, I thought, isn't that lovely? That was impressionable. What did we have when I was He lit two cigarettes and gave her one, did you say? Oh, I don't uh, Paul Henry lit two cigarettes <laughs> and gave Beth Davis one. And I thought, isn't that lovely? Yeah. <laughs> but you must have... You must have... It's no about... Brian, 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 Brian Micklethwaite. Brian Micklethwaite. I just want to say, I think there's a distinction between um, what the law ought to do and what people ought to do if they're behaving properly. I mean, I think it's most regrettable that that young people are persuaded to smoke by these disreputable drug peddlers. But I don't think it should be illegal. I, I think you ought well, to make... Advertising, it, I mean, we're these characters about. here were saying that they were killing their customers. Yeah. They weren't actually machine-gunning them. They were, they, they, there was a moment when the customers sort of chose to get involved oh, in no, this, this process. Oh, no, this is a complete fallacy. Well, are smokers, you saying smokers don't choose to smoke exactly in any sense? That's exactly what I'm saying. I'm are they complete drug robots? Are they completely addiction. at the mercy of adverts? Well, Robin Haley? Well, I'm saying it's drug addiction. Not Smokers no more choose to smoke. Night. Look, you're the one for free speech. Can I have some of it, please? Um, <laughs> Smokers no more... <laughs> go on, Robin, go on. Speak. Smokers no more choose to smoke than the fish chooses to become hooked on the angler's bait. The fact is that even those smokers who remain in this country, 14 well, million, I, know I think, which I'd prefer the to, vast of majority of them wish to be non-smokers. That is why my organisation, the Alan Carr organisation, is Let's so be, successful. Okay, well, I've, yes, well, I've heard from you, then we'll have quit. some more kids yeah. in the audience. Yeah, listen to me, I'm 63 years old, I'm a very young man, yeah? I'm going to tell you that I've watched all this audience, two-thirds of this audience are non-smokers. What about them million of people? I can't go to a restaurant, I can't get on a bus, I can't go on a tube, very soon I might be having a yes, fly. What right have you yeah. or anybody else yeah. got to tell me yeah. I've been smoking all my life? Hey, hey, hey. You can't, you can't you can't do those things, but you can't sit down. I'm not I'm listening. You. You've got no right to call him what you called him. I said, I've, I've got every right. You haven't got oh, any oh, right. Oh, oh, Ricky, 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 oh, sit down. Oh, oh, Ricky, oh, I'll come to five in a second. Ricky, oh, Ricky, oh, sit down, Ricky, for goodness sake. What about the advertising? But Are you affected by advertising? Yes, let them advertise. Why not? Were you affected by it? No, never. What about Humphrey Bogart and those old films? What about Humphrey Bogart? He died of lung cancer. He was a film star. He had a lot of money. Let's make some more kids. Okay, some more kids here. You smoke. Right. Right. She's looking at advertising, and to her, it's something special. It'll make her feel bigger. Well, now, she's been drawn into it. Well, that's right. She's 12 nine. years of age. She's, she's, like she's, she's 12 years of age. She's 12 years of age. You're going to let her speak. Yeah. Oi, shush. <laughs> Sasha, yeah. now you're on the telly. OK. <laughs> <laughs> How many did you smoke when you, when you were smoking? Um, about 10 or 20 a day. <laughs> and uh, you've managed, after a long, hard struggle, to give up, haven't you, eventually? Yeah. Um, oh, well, yeah. Where were you getting the money for those cigarettes? Um... Sometimes I stole that. Who did like, you steal from? My mum. Which now where was she buying the cigarettes? Mm -hmm. I got mm. people to buy them for me. Yeah. And what did you see? When you saw those adverts, what did you think? What did you think of the adverts and well, the I image of it? Well, I thought it was cool it? and everything. <coughs> but if they want to do it, why don't they do it really late at night when children are, are mm. not around? Mm. That's it, Andrew Brown, from the advertising uh, people. People do think it's cool. You can't, you can't, look, listen to what it does to kids. You can't possibly say that it's not targeted at kids. I certainly can when you're talking about broadcast. 
late at night when broadcast media are forbidden to cigarette advertisers anyway. Well, that's why tobacco the tobacco industry... All right, Alan Amos, Alan Amos. Alan Amos. That's why the tobacco industry goes in for sponsorship, because that's a way of getting round the TV advertising ban. And perhaps we can ask the tobacco industry why they spend so much money advertising in women's magazines, which have a r high readership of young girls. And let's that's ask him about sponsorship. Let's ask him about sponsorship. This, this the... weekend, we're all going to have our eyes on Damon Hill's crash helmet, and emblazoned over that crash helmet, mm -hmm. uh, I think it's going to be Rothmans. Now, what is more glamorous? What is more exciting? What is sexier well, than the life of a Formula One racing driver? Are you going to say that the hundreds of millions of sports fans who like motor racing are going to be cut off from sponsorship simply because Amos, Mr. Amos here, thinks that it's bad news for, for oh, some I don't think it's bad news. I, I, must, I must explain to you that in this country, the tobacco industry is responsible for about 3% of all sponsored sport here. It doesn't overwhelm Rugby sport. league, cricket, yes, snooker. It's, it's, it actually, it's about 3%. Yes, now, let me just, let, before I, an before I, on allow me to finish, You put an extra tax on the cigarettes, and you take that money, and you give it to the sports that have already got tobacco sponsorship. Well, That's well, happened in Australia. Allow, it's allow me to finish. Why do you have to pay for it? We're paying enough in tax. We're paying £9 billion into the smoke. government. What are you talking the government about? take the money. You're much too sensible to smoke. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nick, Nick, Nick. I'm pleased to say no, no, do, 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 doctor here, what, would you like to see it banned, advertising? Yeah, no doubt about it. I mean, I have ten-year-old kids coming into my surgery asking for help giving up smoking. What, like Sasha? Yeah, and they're not smoking brands which you don't see or roll-ups or things like that. They're, mm. see, they're smoking brands which you see advertised on billboards, some of the most effective... I mean, it is beautiful advertising. It's the most clever advertising mm. out, not least because of the controls the, that are put on it. They have to find all sorts of ways to make it effective. Well, let's see what you're saying, yeah, and a gentleman in the audience. Yeah, what would you like to say? I'd like to make a point. Very quick I've, point. I've had a triple bypass. Yeah. And I've had five incision hernias. That makes six times I've been undone. And it's murder to have done. And all I can say to young people, they should pack up smoking. Well, a very good point there. And the lady back there. Isn't banned because the government are making nine billion or whatever yeah. figure that woman quoted, and then we've got a Tory sitting on the stage getting all outraged yeah. about it. How much money is this government? How much money is this government? Quiet, Turner. Quiet, Turner. Be quiet. We've only got a few seconds before the break. What I want to say to you is now, what do you say about a little girl like Sasha, 12 years old, who's been seduced by advertising? Well, let me just no address that point. We'll yes, come back to you after the break. I will do. In 1970, 1964, cigarettes came off television. We weren't allowed to advertise anymore. Right, Just a minute, allow me to finish. Yeah, I'll, Between yeah. now and then, the industries spend on advertising plummeting. What? And in the same period, in the same the period, question. sales soar. Lucy, Lucy, tell them to answer the question. Go on, you I'm tell them to answer the question. You're talking verbal diarrhea. Just answer the question. <laughs> well, do you, do you really think... Do you really think... Do you, do you really you think that advertising is strong? Right, don't stop on that podium oh. and talk down to me. I know more than you ever will, OK? Yeah. Well, I'm trying, I'm trying to ask the question. We have to go to the break in a few seconds. I just want you to very briefly say, what do you say to a little girl like Sasha who was influenced by advertising? Do well, I don't believe she is. Why and I don't think if she was... You've heard it from her own lips that no. she's influenced by it. No, I don't believe she is. Well, I think the number, the number of young people... Robin, very quickly, Robin. If influenced by advertising, why not? You can say, well, we can answer that, and you know that. All right, well, after the break, we've got to go to the break. Now, after the break, we're going to hear from a man who has paid a very serious cost from his cigarette habit. Join us in just a couple of minutes. Adam, yeah. um, how old were you when you started smoking? I was 17. And, uh, and when you lost your leg? Yeah, uh, I was just before me 23rd birthday. So six years. Yeah, it's my like that. So, yeah. and um, I lost it from smoking. I got, I got Burgers disease, which is through smoking. So how does that uh, manifest um, itself? What happens? What happens is all the, nic all the uh, nicotine goes into your, into your arteries and it doesn't disperse, it just stays there. And through that, I got uh, gangrene in my leg. Mm. And the doctor says to me, either, st either stop smoking, you die, or you have your leg off and you stop smoking as well. So 